All right, so most of you know, this is my living room and I am going to start by clearing everything out of here, um, including all the hanging stuff, the decorations on the wall. Um, this is real, I'm <laughs> missing my centerpiece because I used it on another little makeover, which you will see soon. Um, but I'm gonna change this up and also paint the fireplace um, I'm gonna do a whitewash on there. I'm actually gonna try and change the layout of the living room. I feel like I'll probably be able to open up the space a little more and um, get rid of this division that's here in the entryway. Um, there's nothing in the middle and I feel like it's just awkward. So I'm gonna see what I can do um, by moving a few things around. So stay tuned and let's get started actually pause right there i actually wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about today's collaboration i am collabing with my friend alice over on her channel alice's wonder home she's actually going to post a video also of her living room makeover which is super exciting she also did this diy shiplap on a budget for under 115 dollars her and her husband are super cute they make such a great team and I just really enjoy watching her content. She's very creative and she's also a motivational person. And I say this because she motivates me to clean. I love watching her cleaning videos, also her grocery hauls. Um, she's just a very fun, bubbly person to watch. So I highly recommend y'all go over to her YouTube channel and check her out. Also her Instagram, Alice's Wonder Home underscore beginning and end. Um, she also poses cute little memories that she creates with her family and just little things that she does over on her channel as well. And you can also go to the link from her um, Instagram to get to her YouTube channel. Like I said, go over and check her out and show her some love. So one of the things I like to do whenever I'm going to um, make over one of the rooms in my home or any other room for that fact, I like to take everything out of the room. I feel like when you do this, you get um, more of a clear picture in your mind because having everything in that room that you already have or have had in there, it kind of just sets you back because you're trying to figure out what you can do with it. And whenever it's all gone, you can actually visualize the bigger picture, if that makes any sense at all. So after I moved the couches and the chairs from in here, it seemed like the light just hit all the walls. And I noticed that they were a little dirty from my kids and then the vent, you know, from the AC unit. Um, it was just collecting some dust. And so I went ahead and wiped this down and gave it a good cleaning so that I could go over a few of the spots that needed some paint. I just thought if I would show y'all this because I think it is so, oh man, so satisfying. But they do recommend that you take off the tape while it's still wet um, like that. It is, um, it doesn't pull up the paint, I'm sorry. It doesn't pull up the paint. So I've heard. So I guess we'll see you. So 
So I know I don't have baseboards and that's why I am painting this, but I think it looks a lot nicer this way. And so I'm gonna start hanging up the frames. I'm gonna, well, no, actually first, I'm gonna move the couch and see if I'm gonna like it here. Or if not, um, I don't know, probably leave it the other way. I don't know, we'll see. Let's figure it out. Okay, so as you can see, I don't think this is gonna work. It's blocking off the fireplace. See, it's blocking it off. I don't like the way that looks. So I'm gonna actually move it over back on this side and then see how it will look with the two chairs on that side. I'll just do it, we'll see. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I think I actually like this. Um, originally, I didn't wanna put anything against this wall, just because in the future, this is gonna go down. But I mean, I don't know how long that's gonna be, and so I'm just gonna work with it. Um, but yeah, I think this looks good with the two chairs over there. And then I'll put some, start decorating this. I think the layout is good. So this is the view when you're coming in. I think I like this. All right, well, let's start decorating. Okay, so I have this laid out. I know for a fact I wanna keep these. Um, this I just got over at Ross and it was $30. And then this is something I also already had and this I got from the thrift store. These right here are from Dollar General and these I got over on the clearance section for $1.50 at Hobby Lobby. Um, this I am going to paint. I'm going to do that, um, baking soda and paint to make it more like a creamy color. I think the green is just too out there. And then this, I don't know if I really like the black on there. I'm thinking that maybe I can paint over this white and then maybe draw something on there. I don't know, but I think I like this layout. I really do think I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that that way and then I'm gonna hang up these frames that I got over at TJ Maxx for $20. And these I think are really nice actually. I really like the color and I think it will definitely bring in the gold from the mirror over on the other side. So let's hang these up. Okay, so I tried putting the ladder here. I don't like the way that looks. I think it works actually over on this corner. It ties in the mantle to the wood on the ladder. So I think it looks good. And then here on top of here, I'll do the three frames. I think that's how it's gonna work best. Um, it did come with the template, but I think they're too close. So this is the template, but I think they're a little too close. I don't want them, I want them about this far apart, not that close. So, Let's get these up.
finally I got these three little squares up. Like, I don't know how impossible that is. And then this is still a little crooked. I don't know. I think the back of them, or maybe I'm looking at them wrong. And they look super small in here. So I don't know if I'm going to like this. Oh no. Does that look too small? I feel like if I had another row here, it would look a lot like a gallery wall. I'm gonna try and go to Marshall's soon so I can find the other three. I hope I can find them. If not, I'll have to change it. But for right now, I think that's good. I mean, it works. I guess we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. This was one of the more pricier items. I paid 30 something dollars for this and it was on clearance, but I kind of figured I wouldn't find this anywhere else. Okay, so for this cowhide, I paid $40. I found this over on OfferUp. Actually, my mom found it for me. Thank you, Madre. Um, for $40. The guy had it for $50, but I negotiated it down to $40. And then this cowhide, I got over at a thrift store. And for this one, I paid $12. I mean, I was just blessed. I had actually prayed to the Lord, please, Lord, I want to finally find some cowhide but I don't want to pay the full price. And he heard me and I found me the cow hat. So thank you, Jesus. And this knit throw I got over at Ross. I paid $17 for it. I had been looking for one for a while and I like the color combination on this one. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Now for pillows, I'm just going to use existing ones because I ain't going to buy more. I'm um, just going to put these here. And then this one was already on the couch and it's white. So I think it'll look just fine. Um, but I think I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and add some finishing touches, which you will see here in a little bit. I'm going to DIY that frame over there, stain these, put some pictures, Maybe rearrange some stuff. I'm not sure. Paint some other things. You just have to stay tuned. I'm going to do that now, and I will get y'all on the other side. For this first DIY, I'm just going to use some wood finish and the dark walnut, a brush, and a rag. Oh, my God. I thought that I was recording this whole time, and I didn't. But basically what I did, I stained the legs from this table that I made out of a luggage, a vintage luggage. It looks dark, um, but I think it will work here on the light. See, so you can see I kind of purposely left some raw areas um, to add a character. I think it looks cute. I actually was not happy with this result. I think they were a little too dark, but it's too late now and I'll fix them later. For the next project, I'm going to use some chalk paint, some paints that I already have, and this little plate. And I actually ended up getting a bigger brush. I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply the chalk paint all over this frame to cover up that lettering. And then I'm going to let it dry actually because this is pretty thick. So I'm going to let this dry in between and I will start on a different project. I'm going to use the baking powder, chalk paint, some acrylic paint, and some brushes. I'm going to do that same mixture that I've um, shown y'all in another video. And I'm going to be using this $5 jug that I found at the Salvation Army. Um, it's really simple and super easy whenever you just want to change the color on something. I really recommend this mixture. It holds up really well and I really like the texture of it. It makes it look almost as if it was pottery.
All right, so while this dries up, I'm gonna go ahead and start to paint this. I'm gonna do the same thing, so might as well just do it, but I'm not gonna move that, that's really heavy, so I'm just gonna do it where it's at. This one I purposely didn't show you the after clip um, because I wanted to show it to you whenever I did the reveal of the living room. Now back to the jug. I let this dry and now I'm going to apply the second coat. I ended up only doing two coats because this paint took really well. was all dried up I went ahead and chose some colors that I thought would look nice for what I had pictured it in my mind which were some olive branches I really like olive branches they have a really nice significance in the Bible and so when I get a chance I like to paint them wanted to share this with y'all people will come into your life and they will go some for a season and some for a reason when you recognize covenant God ordained relationships hold on to them they are a gift from heaven they will enhance your life and calling they will fan the flames and ignite your anointing they will celebrate you and pray with and for you they listen with compassion and never judge they will build you up and never tear you down Friends like this are for a lifetime, a true gift from God. That's it for this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Also, don't forget to go and check out my friend Alice's Wonder Home, her new video of her living room makeover. I thank y'all so much for all the blessings that y'all give me and for allowing me to share this with you, this passion that I have. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. And I thank y'all all so much for y'all's love and support. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.